Who doesn't love a little Air Dead and Eddie? It's one of those cartoons I saw as a kid that is just still really entertaining to watch. Hilarious stuff. But I didn't know there was a game for it until very recently. So I just had to play it and it's about as good as I was expecting to be honest. <laughs> First of all, these characters were never meant to be seen in three dimensions. Double D and Ed don't look too bad, but Eddie looks like he was beat repeatedly with a shovel. Truly horrifying stuff. But the worst offender is Kevin. His chin. The horrifying nature of his chin. See that basketball over there? Pick it up and throw it at these trash cans behind me. Knock them down and I'll let you pass. If not, you losers won't be going anywhere. <laughs> The game follows the Ed boys as they go about their scams in and around the cul-de-sac. Similar to the show, it's interesting to see areas from the cartoon rendered in 3D. You get to see where everything is in relation to each other. Something that's usually pretty unclear in the show. You can switch between the three Eds whenever you like and they each have their own special abilities. Ed can lift and throw objects, Double D has his slingshot and can enable slash disable devices and Eddie can throw stink bombs. They also have their own unique formations such as Ed's Batter Ed Ram and Ed's Tower of Eddie seen here. I found there to be just too much going on for it to be enjoyable. These types of platformers are usually pretty simple, but this is just bogged down with too many buttons and abilities to remember. They say an elephant never forgets, but I forget what the elephant remembered. Its gameplay is very clumsy or so. Especially the Trampo Ed. Yes, Trampo Ed formation, which is about as intuitive to use as it is to say. It's never quite clear when you can and can't use it either, leading to these many moments here where I'm trying absolutely everything to solve the puzzle. Think you can jump over the fence with the Trampo Ed? No, you have to find the hidden pathway over there, of course. The game will usually give you hints about which characters to use with these glowing outlines. Most of the puzzles are simple because of this. Until they don't appear! Either highlight everything or don't highlight anything. Don't pull this halfway hand holy nonsense with me game. This game also comes with its own walkthrough guide in the manual. I just found that kind of weird. Use your head on those glowing things, Ed! <laughs> okay, Eddie! So, how does this game capture the spirit of the show? Well, all the same voice actors are in the game and none of them seem to be sleepwalking for it as far as I can tell. But there's just something missing. Did Jimmy just exist in two places at once for a second there? He did, I think he did. That doesn't make any sense even in a cartoon. Every now and then this game made me chuckle, but it's almost like a pale imitation of the show. More than a faithful representation. These horrifying character models don't do the highly expressive animation from the show any justice whatsoever. Look at me! I'm hideous! What if somebody sees me? Well, in the Tower of Eddie, we could hide behind telephone poles. Oh yeah? My dad has a shovel. And neither does the game's own animation for that matter. It looks like terrible flash animation. And as a former creator of terrible flash animation, I'd know this stiff, lifeless movement anywhere. Hey, come on, man. what I do? Each level has its own plot, but it feels kind of disjointed. The original show was wacky, sure, but it had a sense of cohesion to the madness that just isn't present in this game. Gross. These enemies that jump into your pants were just the bane of my existence while I was playing this. Enemies are obstacles, sure, but these things were more irritating than anything else. <laughs> They're kind of like those robot fish from Sonic 3 that stopped you from walking and jumping. Get off! Ah! Ah! I hate these squirrels. These squirrels can die for all I get. Remember the ravenous squirrels from the show? Am I even allowed to use the Ed, Ed and Eddie theme in this review or is that going to get me copyright striked? Anyway, the music sounds like it's straight out of the show so I can't really fault the game there. But I just found myself wanting to watch this show instead of playing this game. It's a soulless husk. Not the worst game of its type, but not something I could recommend. Take to those DVD box sets. Why are only the first two seasons on DVD? Get on that Cartoon Network. <laughs> Losers! <laughs> nice job! Too bad the party's over, dorks! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, Jimmy! There's gotta be some cake left, right? Here, you can lick the icing from my candles. Go 
still on that Kyrie network. We want season three, four, five, or however, they, however many they made. I don't know. The seasons where they were in high school, they stopped showing those in the UK. We never got to see those for quite a while. Not until around 2008, I think. And I was just blown away when I saw that. It's like, whoa, Ed, Ed, and Eddie in high school. What is this? This is insane. But yeah, I didn't even know those episodes existed. In fact, I didn't even know the show ran until like 2009. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Review's over. Later.